Hello everybody. In this Final Cut Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick tip having to do with speed changes. Now everybody knows when you do a speed change to a clip, it changes its duration. And let me give you an example of that. Let me shrink my tracks down. And let me insert a couple edits into this scene. There we go. Now I've inserted some edits. So now let's go in here and select this clip. Let's right click and say change speed. Let's change it to 70%. Now if you watch the clip, when I click OK, it will lengthen because it has slowed it down. And you see, now sometimes that can totally throw off your audio. Big time. And you know, you really can't use audio on a slow mode clip anyway unless it's you know dialogue. Because if the dialogue is used, it's going to have to be slowed down as well to match along to lip sync with the video. So usually when you have a slow-mo scene, there's usually music over it or, or there's narration over it or something like that. Or it's done for comedy and it shows the guy talking really slow, you know. Um, but most of the time on a slow-mo clip, you're not going to have a normal speed audio match up or lip sync with a slow-mo clip. It's just not possible. So instead of changing the speed of your clip and having it lengthen your timeline and throwing off the audio of your whole entire sequence from that point forward because as you noticed it pushed everything past or everything after that clip down in the timeline and that would have totally threw off our audio if we had audio in our timeline as well luckily I don't so let me undo that now how could we change the speed of that clip without changing its duration because sometimes it's better to cut off the end of a clip than it is to actually change the duration of your sequence. So how can we do that? How can we change the speed of a clip but keep the duration the same? Well, that's where match frame comes in, okay? So what you want to do is you're going to park your playhead on the frame that you want to start your frame change. I mean your speed change, okay? And after you have your playhead parked where you want it, go up to view. There'll be a little match frame menu. You'll see master clip and you can hit the F key to do this. Or source file okay master clip well let's go ahead and do source file because that's what I like to use the most I'm gonna say source file and boom as you notice now both these frames are the same now let me explain what Final Cut Pro has done is it's looked at the frame underneath my playhead and then it's went out to the original source file on my hard drive found that frame and put it and loaded it into the viewer okay it's, it's went to the actual source file, hence the name source file. It's went to the actual source file and found this frame in the actual source file and matched it to the frame under my playhead. Now you'll notice there was another option under match frame, just a regular master clip with the F key. Uh, well that is also will match the frame, but it don't go out to the source file on your hard drive. It goes to the clip in your browser. If I would have hit the F key and just used master clip, this is my master clip. It would have just looked at the frame under my playhead. It would have went back to the media browser here and found the clip that it needed and found the frame inside the clip inside the browser. Okay, that's the difference between the two. One of them will come to your clip in the browser, the master clip in the browser and match its frame. And another one will go out to the actual source file on the hard drive and match frame. Okay, so I've used the source file, and you can see both frames are matched. So I've got the exact same frame that's in my canvas loaded into my viewer. So now I'm going to make sure my viewer is selected. And I'm going to call up my speed controls with Command-J. Okay, now I'm just going to enter a speed change of 70%. And I'm going to say OK. Now what that done was, that changed the speed of the clip that's in my viewer. Nothing else. Okay, it did not change the speed of the clip in the timeline. So I'm going to take this clip in the viewer and I'm going to drag it over to replace. Okay, now what I'm, what's going to happen when I drop it on replace is it's going to replace this clip right here in front of my playhead, the old clip. Okay, and instead of hitting replace, if you want to, to make it quick, you can come over here and hit this button here. And boom, when I hit that button or drag it over replace, as you can see, the render bar turned red. I need to re render it. That is because it replaced the clip, the original clip that was in there, with this slowed down version that's in the viewer. Okay, so let's go ahead and render. And now you'll see 
it's normal speed, normal speed, slow, and it slows down. Okay? You really couldn't tell much about it because it's such a short clip. Let me see if I can do this one more time. Now there's a big long clip here. I'm going to insert a couple edits. Like so. Let's go to this clip. Let's go to this one here. This frame right there. We'll go to that frame right there. View. Match frame. Source file. Boom. Call up the speed changes. Let's make it 60%. Hit our replace edit button. Boom. It replaces that clip, but it stays the same. Let me render. Now, as you'll see, the clip is 60% like last time, but the duration hasn't changed. And now the truck is coming. Boom. Slows the slow motion. Okay, you got it. So, as you can see, 60%, the duration of the clip hasn't changed. I really hope you guys have learned something from this little match frame maneuver. Because I tell you what, I use it a whole heck of a lot. I really honestly do. And it's something that once you get used to using it, that I really don't, I think that you'll be calling upon it a whole lot. So you see how fast I matched that frame there while I was talking. Coming in, boom, really slow. And when you render it out, <clears throat> everything should look okay. You can see it comes in and it slows down. Okay, so that's how you do that, guys. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in our next tutorial.